So we are starting with the oxocations. So what are oxocations? Oxocations means oxygen के साथ कुछ bonding होगा and it will also form a cation. For example, BO2 plus. Okay. Vanadium oxygen के साथ and इसके साथ नहीं है plus charge. Then BO plus two. Okay. Then similarly titanium oxide and then इसके साथ नहीं है plus two charge. So if it is having some plus charge, okay. Since it is having some plus charge, therefore it is known as cations. Okay, cation of the two type of money here that it is having some charge, which is plus, and also means with oxygen. Okay, so let us find the oxidation number of titanium. For example, for vanadium, let us try. So it will give us X is equal to plus oxygen or key here minus two. Is equal to overall charge given plus two, so x or value given plus of four. Okay, so charge of x is plus of four. So vanadium belongs to which group? Vanadium belongs to group number. Vanadium belongs to group number four. Okay, vanadium belongs to group number four, and in group number four, what we can observe is the highest charge. It is having plus two. Plus three, plus four. So the highest charge is plus four for vanadium. Vanadium or maximum charge plus four power, but that power power no hai. Okay, sir. So highest charge of any element is mostly created with oxide, oxygen. Okay. The highest charge that is available, I just show you. The highest charge that is available with any element is mostly done with oxygen because oxygen has the capacity. To form double bonds, and it leads to it is very electronegative. It has double bonds, and it leads to the formation of. I'll just show you just one minute. So we can see for vanadium. Okay, okay. Vanadium belongs to group number twenty-five. It belongs to group number five, not four. So it is plus five BI. So it's a very high charge plus four. So this high charge of vanadium. Is being shown by, is being shown by this high charge of vanadium is being shown when it is forming a bond with oxygen. Correct. Titanium belongs to group number four. This is three. This is four. Titanium belongs to group number four. So maximum plus four. This is five. So maximum plus five. Six. So maximum plus six. Manganese belongs to group seven. So maximum is possible is plus seven. ठीक है. So, a interesting part that I have told that the maximum oxidation number possible. Okay, maximum oxidation number. Okay, possible is osmium oxide O S O four. This is the compound. Osmium का सबसे ज़्यादा oxidation number होता है. You check for osmium की मानो को. X plus four times of negative two is equal to zero. So X is equal to plus of eight. So X is equal to plus of eight is the highest charge that is possible. Okay, X equal to plus of eight is the highest charge possible. ठीक है? X equal to plus eight is the highest charge possible for any element. 
no other element is giving you that high charge. Okay, we can see manganese. Manganese or cathode keeps on highest charge. Manganese or cathode highest charge is plus seven. Where it is available? Let me show you. In case of manganese. Okay, in case of manganese, let me show you a compound of manganese where such high charge is exhibited, and that is to get oxygen. For example. For example, we can see that M N two O seven. Okay, manganese M N two O seven. So, what is the what is the oxidation number of manganese over here? We can see that it is M N oxygen M N double bonded oxygen, double bonded oxygen, double bonded oxygen. We can see here that what is the charge of manganese? So far, okay, manganese or yeah, the charge is given number. You must have a look. So manganese is having single bond with oxygen. So here plus one, here it is plus two. So plus three total, plus five, plus seven. So manganese is having a total charge of plus seven. This manganese also has a total charge of plus seven. And now ulale pi zero. So it is given number two times of x plus seven times of negative of two equals zero. Okay, two times of x. Plus seven times of minus two is equal to zero. So ultimately, how much? X two x minus fourteen is equal to zero. X is equal to plus of seven. Am I correct? Okay. So you can find out in this way also, or by the drawing also. So to me, maximum cathode dekha baba. Je iman basic highest charge mein je exhibit koi se kamba. Jane ke manganese or cathode. In case of manganese, manganese or cathode, you can see that. The highest oxidation number possible for manganese is plus seven. So manganese is showing this highest oxidation state only with oxygen. Fine. Similarly, scandium. Let us take one more example. This is of course not cation, but at least you can see an example of oxide having highest charge. For example. Okay. For example, scandium Sc. Two or three, okay. Scandium oxide, Sc two or three. Scandium or maximum charge? Kima? Atta hai charge asa scandium or silver? Scandium or maximum charge asa kima? Only plus of three. So it is only possible. This is the highest charge of scandium. So you can see that uh, if I do the balancing, if I do the balancing of charge, two x plus three times of negative of two is equal to zero. Two x is equal to Plus of six, x is equal to plus of three. So scandium here it is showing plus three oxidation state, but we must see that it is showing the highest oxidation state of its group only with oxygen and nobody else. Okay. So that's why it is said that the highest highest oxidation state is possible only with oxygen. Highest oxidation state is possible. Only with oxygen. Okay, so this we will write as a note. Write it. We will write it as a note that the higher oxidation states, the higher oxidation state is the higher oxidation state is uh, stabilized. Stabilized by oxygen only. It's stabilized by oxygen only. The higher oxidation state is stabilized by oxygen only. Fine. Okay. Kiti abar ene ka hole ki hoy. Like many times it happens that. Elements are not at their optimum charge. I mean, stabilized charge. No, then again, for example, I will show you iron. Let us take an example of iron. Here, iron has so many charges: plus two, plus three, plus four, and plus six. Yet they are called plus three to a stable. So, iron, which is given by name, plus two, plus three, plus four. Ah, uh, sorry, plus two, plus four, plus plus six charge. That a compound of that. So, they are not very much stable. So they would like to become stable. They would like to become plus three by some way or the other. Okay. For example. Okay. 
so it will like lick you man the higher oxidation state is stabilized by oxygen only and uh, if elements are not at their stable oxidation state stable oxidation state then what happens they are not stable not stable when they react they are then some changes happens chemically so that they can attain the stable oxidation state then some changes takes place chemically takes place chemically so that the stable oxidation state is attained okay so then some changes takes place chemically to attain the stable oxidation state to attain the stable oxidation state how they mount right jane ke pani to upar pra tal jay right next really because in the as it goes deeper it becomes more stable water becomes more stable jane ke stable boli kobo pari suppose water is at a certain height then it has more potential energy it has it comes to it comes half of the height it has lesser potential energy and at a at the bottom it has a minimum potential energy jiman energy to komi ahibo no iman bosto to stable hoy thakibo buji paisa so water at a great height has a higher stability higher uh, energy so less stable and water at the ground it has more stability okay water always moves down so similarly मलिक्यूल तो जी एनार्जी थे जी आनस्टेबल इन बेस रियेक्टिव ओके सो फाइन सो फर एक्साम्पल एस इोर टू माइनस दिस अ कम्पाउंड ओके एफ इो फोर टू माइनस सो इन एफ इो फोर टू माइनस वट इज द चार्ज ऑफ आयरन लेट एस फाइन आउट द चार्ज ऑफ आयरन एक्स प्लस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ अक्सिजेन माइनस टू थे जार जार कन्फ्यूजन आसिजेन की चार्ज हम जिकोनिंग So X will be equal to plus of six. So ultimately, FeO four to minus it decomposes. It decomposes to become Fe two O three plus O two. Fe two O three plus O two. Fine. So FeO four minus two minus decomposes to become Fe two O three. You know that this is decomposition. एटा प्रोडक्ट एटा रिएक्शन आई कैन डू टा प्रोडक्ट फॉर एस सो इट इज अ डीकंपोजिशन रिएक्शन डेफिनेटली बट लेट अस आल्सो सी व्हाट इज व्हाई दिस रिएक्शन टू प्लेस सो दैट द कंपाउंड बिकम्स लिटिल बिट मोर स्टेबल आयरन व्हाट इज द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ आयरन ओवर हियर टू टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स प्लस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ नेगेटिव 2 इज इक्वल टू ओवरऑल इक्वल चार्ज में 0 2x 6 इज इक्वल टू 0 x और वैल्यू टू क्यू ऑफ प्लस ऑफ 3 ठीक है x और वैल्यू टू प्लस ऑफ 3 आहिले याते प्लस ऑफ 3 आहिले और याते की मान असले प्लस ऑफ 6 असले so that is the meaning of instability it decomposes to become this why because this oxidation state is very much stable bujhe paisa what is the meaning of stability and instability instability means it is ready to become stable by making some changes fine there is a comparison <laughs> that It is not a question, but a kind of information. Huh? Manganese or fluorine are lower, highest oxidation state due to the effect. That you have to keep in mind. MnF4. This is the compound which is the maximum oxidation state available of manganese. So to can you guess? X plus four times of negative one is equal to zero. X or value to keep in mind. X or value to keep in mind. Plus of four. So manganese is plus of four, and then we have discussed this in the last class also, just a little bit more. There are a lot of small cells, small small informations regarding oxidation state, oxygen and chlorine, all the things. With oxygen, the highest oxidation state available is how much? 
x plus 4 times of minus 2 is equal to negative 1. So, x or value to kima naibo? x or value to ahila kima? Plus of 7. Take x fale to me swa, it to plus 4 ahias, x fale plus of 7 ahias. A uh, number is about the chlorine site as a oxygen of site as a then why it is so that it is uh, manganese is showing a higher oxidation state and uh, with chlorine it is manganese is showing a lower oxidation state the reason lies in the type of bonding okay oxygen is able to oxygen is able to form double bond okay oxygen is able to form double bond and therefore, there is higher oxidation state. Therefore, manganese shows higher oxidation state with oxygen compared to fluorine. Fine. So this is important. Why it is showing higher? Because it has a tendency to form double bond double bond creation for your therefore oxygen has comparatively with oxygen actually there is possible fine so these are some very very small information but it's very useful so, okay fine So again, we are going to the last class, a special topic of copper, right? So copper in the reactivity series of metal, in the reactivity series of metal, copper lies below hydrogen in the reactivity series of metals okay reactivity series of metals or because you will see that the first is like the foremost is potassium okay so then is sodium that magnesium okay then aluminium silicon like that okay so there are many many different types of elements and you will see that uh, after hydrogen at below below hydrogen is copper so the elements which are below hydrogen cannot liberate hydrogen when reacting with acid okay so this we must remember so jikono element reactive ho bole duta characteristics khub important okay if a metal has to become reactive to become reactive it must possess two things to become reactive metals must have low ionization energy number one low ionization energy so ie money ionization energy okay ionization energy money electron to the okay ionization energy means how quickly and a metal can leave an electron a release an electron okay so the IE to BC hoy, then you less reactive hoy, metal will act. Okay. And number two is high electron gain enthalpy. High electron gain enthalpy. Okay. What is the meaning of electron gain enthalpy? It is the energy released when an electron is added. Okay. So if these two things are possible, then the elements are considered to be very reactive. So copper has neither low ionization energy, not high electron gain enthalpy. Copper ki hai, copper or electron kila ki man hum kalle nidiye. Copper ulta electron gain kori la. So that only, that is the most important uh, aspect why copper is very, uh, like what to say, very strong oxidizing agent. Because it reduces itself, okay, fine.
Next, we come on to a very simple property. We have started this in coordination compounds. That is a magnetic property. Okay, magnetic property of Mandelbrot formula. Magnetic property. So, what is magnetic property? We have always uh, this today. These things we have studied in solid state also. More we will study. So, yeah, the cure important because unpaired electrons put that D block elements or both any unpaired electrons that get. And in the presence of unpaired electrons, there is lot of magnetic property that gets created. Okay. So, number one in magnetic property is paramagnetic. Paramagnetic. What is paramagnetic? Paramagnetic means weakly attracted by magnetic field. Weakly attracted by magnetic field. Number two, diamagnetic. Diamagnetic means it is weakly repelled by a magnetic field. Weakly. Repelled, weakly repelled by what? By a magnetic field. Okay. Then there is paramagnetic. Okay. That is the extreme case of paramagnetic. Paramagnetic means Ockerman weakly attracted. Uh, diamagnetic means it is weakly repelling. But there is number three is ferromagnetism. It is an extreme case of paramagnetism. Okay, it is an extreme case of paramagnetism. It means very strong magnets. Okay. Very strong magnets. Okay, they are very strong magnets. Very strong magnets. Fine. They are very very strong magnets. So these are some of the magnetic properties that we have studied. Okay. Now one thing uh, I would like to apologize that I have given this uh, formula incorrect when we are doing the coordination compounds. And actually, this topic is not there in coordination compounds at all. This topic is there in D block. First, we study D block, then only coordination compounds. But because of the requirement, we have to study coordination compounds first. Magnetic moment. Magnetic moment or I mean, jekera formula ulai so agote. Tatayata follow ata changes. Okay, and that is mu is equal to root over n into n plus I mean one likes to into two. Okay. This value will be two. It will not create difference in the answer, but it will be important to write the number as two. Don't write it one. Make it two. Okay. So I have only given you one. I'm just telling you now. Please change all the values as n into n plus two, not one. Okay. So anything. If a compound has one unpaired electron. Okay. If an element has. If an element has only one unpaired electron. If an element has only one unpaired electron, then what will happen? Then in that case, we will find the mu according. Mu is equal to root over one into one plus two. Okay, so it will be root over three. Root over three. Can you calculate root over three? One square is one. Two square is equal to four. So it is between one and four. This is well. This value is between one and four. So the easiest way to find out is root over three. So we can find at least it is one point seven something. Still, we'll try to find out in our own way. This is the smaller value has to be written one square, no? one square or one one. So I'll write this one first, followed by what is the difference between one and three? That is two. The difference between one and three is two, and this is a the difference between one and three is two plus one. That is three. You have to write three on, and divided by one and four. What is the uh, yes? So it will be three four. So it will be something where well around one point seven. Correct. Oh, sorry, this will be one point 
two one divided by this is two by three. Yes. The difference between three and one is two, and the difference between four and one is three. So one two by three. So it will be one point six six. I'm writing overall as seven. Only one digit. Okay. So the value of root over three is one point seven zero one four. Fine. So at least we should know one digit after the decimal place. Okay. Are you ready? So magnetic moment जितने हमारे उलाबो लगे जी कोना element रोका ना हमें magnetic moment उलाबो पड़े provided we know the number of unpaired electrons this n a n पर meaning की this n means that this n means number of unpaired electron this means number of unpaired electron ठीक है, सो जने के फॉर एग्जांपल, फॉर एग्जांपल, विल सी, ओके, फॉर एग्जांपल स्कैंडियम प्लस थ्री Okay, for scandium plus three, the number of unpaired electron is zero. What is this? This n equal to number of unpaired electrons. Okay, so like that, you can find for different elements. You can find out scandium plus three. Then, for example, titanium plus two. Okay, the number of unpaired electron is two. For copper plus two. The number of unpaired electron is one. So finally, you can find it out this way, right? So, jiko no elementor karne, the number of unpaired electrons so, both easily ulabu para. You have to find it first, right? We have already done this in the coordination compounds. So I can also guess it up for it to be fine. Okay. So there is a question. <coughs> Calculate the value of mu. Mu means magnetic moment for a divalent ion in aqueous solution. In aqueous solution. ठीक है कैलकुलेट डी वैल्यू ऑफ म्यू फॉर ए डाइवेलेंट आयन इन एक्वस सॉल्यूशन इफ इट्स एटॉमिक नंबर इफ इट्स एटॉमिक नंबर इस 25 ठीक है फाइन सो वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट व्हिच एलिमेंट इज एक्चुअली वेरी डिफरेंट दैट इज नॉन अदर देन मैंगनीज so for manganese also we can write mn or if we don't know we can write any element okay m x e a whatever you want to write you can write because they are not mentioning the name of the element directly okay so manganese sir number like that so divalent divalent computer meaning divalent means two plus charge because it's a metal so it's a divalent divalent means two plus two plus charge okay so what is the name of uh, manganese definitely? So argon, actually to keep manganese it is 4s2, 3d, 5, 5. But if it is Mn2+, it is argon, 3d5, fine. So what is the number of unpaired electrons? If you see number of unpaired electrons for D, C D. How many boxes it will create? One, two, three, four, five. So unpaired electron kata as a pasta as no. So for this five electrons, how many unpaired electrons is there? One, two, three, four, five. So there is five unpaired electrons. So what is the value of mu? Mu value to key over. The value of mu will be root over n into n plus two. Earlier we used to write one, so it will be two. Okay. So root over five times of five plus two. So it ultimately give over five root over five times of seven is thirty-five. So 
we can find the value of uh, this one, like uh, five square is equal to 25, six square is equal to 36. So it is it has to be the lower value that is equal to five. Then what is the difference between 25 and 35? That is 10. Okay, this 10. What is the difference between uh, 25 and 36? That is 11. Okay, so something like that. So it will be 5.9. Okay, 5.9. Then after that, what do you write? What is the unit of uh, magnetic moment? Magnetic moment. This okay. unit kya hota hai? The unit of magnetic moment is Bm. Okay, the unit is Bm. Fine. Bm mane four magnetons. This is the unit of your magnetic moment. Fine. So a lot of things that we have done. Okay, transition elements are mostly colored. Okay, if like I mean, I got to discuss for you so coordination compounds. I go with like topic three. I like that. Okay, now come on, come on, try this one. Okay, maximum we have discussed in the last time. Formation of colored ions. Why this uh, e block elements are forming colored ions? Formation. Of colored ions. Okay. First of all, unpaired electrons have it behaves as catalyst. It has magnetic property. Also, it has color. Okay. So we have already discussed all these things before. Formation of colored ions. So may to topic four proper heba. You will study this topic from color in coordination compounds. Okay, color in coordination compounds. In that topic, you will find that there was a color wheel. There was a colored wheel, and then each color there was some color here and there. Like it was with your P, B, G, Y, O, R. So whatever color the element is absorbing, the opposite color it is appearing to be right that we have studied and why it happens it happens when the electrons are actually jumping from the lower d orbitals to the higher d orbitals okay p to g to eg so the electrons which are here it is supposed to jump over here so electrons are jumping from p to g three to e g one so electrons are jumping to the higher orbitals and therefore what happens the colors are being appeared take okay, a color will really appear Fine. Fine. Color in coordination compounds. One, two, three, and then there is one electron, which is the when it is jumping, the color appears. Okay. So if you need the gap to jump, the gap of energy between these two orbitals of D. Okay. This is also D orbital. This is also D orbital. So when the electron jumps, it has to absorb a certain amount of energy, which is represented by this delta O, which is nothing but our crystal field splitting energy. Okay, CF SC. Absorb for our logo, it will absorb for energy, for for lighter for Okay, suppose a electron to jump for like this energy gap is there, it is jumping from one, two, three. The fourth electron could have been here, but it is jumping here. So it is absorbing the energy and it is jumping. Hey, energy is absorbed energy. The energy is coming from light. Okay. This light. Suppose it is absorbing the orange color to jump, then it will be appeared in the blue color. Okay. Juntu color absorb it will opposite color to appearance. Fine. If it is absorbing the green color, it will absorb, it will appear to be red color. If it is absorbing violet, it will appear to be yellow. Okay, this procedure or this is this jumping is known as DD transition. It is known as when an electron to the jump for you say, this is known as DD 
transition it is known as dd transition right it is known as dd transition i hope you are understanding this part okay so some of the factors that we can write the color of the compounds depends on color of the compounds depends on number 1 dd transition dd transition mane electron to lower e t2g bara upper eg lo ke jump kore heto dd transition bhi likha hai theek hai nature of the complex nature of the complex means whether they are weak or strong weak or strong okay then the value of delta o okay this is the crystal field splitting energy so all these factors are predominant fine okay why colors are shown by transition elements question is there why why transition element shows color why transition element shows color okay simple answer because of the presence of unpaired electrons because of the presence of unpaired electrons are that color nine okay definitely they have paired electrons because of the presence of unpaired electrons fine okay fine next catalytic properties okay catalyst the properties of catalyst catalytic properties catalytic properties fine so what are the catalytic properties why uh, d block elements forms good catalyst number 1 d block elements d block metals or transition metals shows multiple oxidation states okay shows multiple oxidation states that is why they are good catalysts okay number 2 examples are vanadium pentoxide used for the preparation of sulfuric acid theek hai vanadium pentoxide sulfuric acid preparation ka ne use kara hai through a method known as the contact process ki banaya vanadium pentoxide is the catalyst it is used to prepare sulfuric acid theek hai sulfuric acid preparation kara hai then iron iron is used to prepare ammonia in the method of haber's process ki banaya nh3 ammonia banaya theek hai in what process in the haber's process these are some of the examples okay प्रसेस्रोजिनेशन 
hydrogenation use kori bolle alkene to alkyne alkene to alkene okay to create alkene from alkene okay alkene create kora kai so these are mostly used number 3 Number three. So these are the two things that we have discussed: the block metals, transition metals shows multiple oxidation state. Vanadium pentoxide contact process. Iron is used in case of ammonia. Okay. Nickel is used to prepare alkene from alkene. So catalyst or catalytic. In case of catalyst, three D and four S electrons are mainly used. Are mainly used for the bonding process okay for the bonding process theek hai 3d and 4s electrons are mainly used for the bonding process fine So catalyst or uh, reaction for our process to completely different. We'll study about catalyst details in surface chemistry. Okay, in details available in surface chemistry. Surface chemistry. Okay, is available in details in surface chemistry. File. So a lot of things we have covered today. What else? Next, we will study about interstitial compounds. Interstitial compounds. Kisuman compounds ki hai. Interstitial thai toh manlo ke bhuji paisa solid state or already bhuji sa. For example, titanium. Okay, titanium metal to metal bonding kena kya hai? By the help of free electrons. Okay, this is forming the network of metals. These are known as metallic bond. So titanium or aru titanium or mazot, he has they are forming metallic bond with the help of free electrons. This is the normal metallic network. Evla par a gaps je thake, evla gaps je thake, evla kua hai interstitial space. Interstitial space bolli kua hai a gap to a gap to. ठीक है? ऐसे क्यों है? और कमाल cavity थके जैसे दातर और मासूद gap थके ना कि जब आमी किबा खाले की हो. A gap or thana to my side. Okay, then we have to brush it out. So what happens? Similarly, between metals, these cavities are there. Cavities of kiya hai? Bellic elements ke tarah hi hai, like carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, to my side. Okay. So what happens? Because these elements are entering in the interstitial spaces, so they change the chemical property of the substance. Okay, they change the chemical property of titanium as a whole. It becomes sometimes more strength. It is strength increases, tensile strength increases, melting point increases, boiling point increases. Can I go why? Why it is taking place? Because of the presence of elements such as carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen in the cavities of the metals. Okay, so such kind of compounds. Are important because they have new set of physical properties like melting point, boiling point, uh, density, tensile strength. All these things changes. So therefore, they also have some name which is known as the interstitial compounds. Okay. So I'll just write in more small words: interstitial space becomes. Occupied by elements such as carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, resulting into 
change in melting point density and xylestem and all those things okay so because this things changes therefore the compound as a whole becomes a little bit different therefore it is known as interstitial compounds fine ठीक है एंड दे हैव वेरी मच लाइक यूनिक केमिकल फॉर्मूला एब्लाक और केमिकल फॉर्मूला एक ही धरण और नहीं माने याते थोड़ा हाइड्रोजन जिमन है से ए टू गैप ऑफ हाइड्रोजन जिमन हुआ है से ए टू गैप ऑफ हाइड्रोजन जिमन हुआ ना है तब याते दोस्ता हाइड्रोजन है से ए टू गैप ऑफ इधर दोस ए टू पॉकेट ऑफ इधर दोस्ता हाइड्रोजन है से याते दूसरा हाइड्रोजन है से ऑलरेडी ओनली सो देर इज नो फिक्स थिंग ओके देयरफॉर केमिकल केमिकल फॉर्मूला टू कंप्लीटली मेटल टू साइ है को ओपरेबल बिफोर दैट वी कैन नॉट कम टू नो दैट दिस आर द टाइप्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्री यानी कि हम को पढ़ दे कॉपर थके कॉपर ऑक्साइड थके किंतु एने का कंपाउंड्स विल अकॉर्ड फॉर्मूला जनरली क्रिएट करा ना जाए ओनली बाय सीइंग द कंपाउंड यू विल बी कमिंग टू नो दैट हां दिस कंपाउंड हैज दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला जने के TiC 0.56 TiC 0.56 एट अ बेलेक धरण और कंपाउंड होले तो ए टू कंपाउंड प्रत्येक बार नूल है बिकॉज़ द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन्स मे बी डिफरेंट हियर एंड हियर सो द केमिकल फार्मूला माइट चेंज दिस इज द केमिकल फार्मूला ऑफ अ स्मॉलर सेक्शन ऑफ द इंटरस्टिशियल कंपाउंड ठीक है फाइन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द इंटरस्टिशियल कंपाउंड्स सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंटरस्टिशियल कंपाउंड्स आर लेट अस राइट properties of interstitial compounds i just need one more class to end the dnf block okay so i'm planning to do it tomorrow so that everything is ended of dnf block then monday i will do the offline class okay so all this dnf blog those who have missed already everything is there please go through so tic tic 0.56 of course it has higher melting point it has higher melting point than titanium theek okay? hai just some of the important facts number 2 interstitial compounds can be as hard as diamonds has higher hardness higher hardness and can be as hard as diamond and can be as hard as diamond fine number 3 theek okay. hai conductivity is not affected conductivity remains same okay because number of free electrons will remain the same conductivity is not affected theek okay. hai it becomes chemically inert to some extent बिकॉज इम केमिकल्स मजब बहि गए कम्पाउंड के स्टेबल हो जाए इट बिकम्स मोर एंड मोर स्टेबल ठीक है सो जिको कम्पाउंड बंडिंग बस्तु तो स्टेबल नेक्स्ट ए वेरी स्मॉल टॉपिक दैट हेज केम फ्रॉम योर अर्लियर क्लासेस that is alloys okay alloys so alloys shabd to notun na hoy tumar karane agote porisa alloys is a mixture of metals mixtures of 
metals it can be a mixture of metals only or it can be a mixture of metal plus non metal theek hai so alloys can be a mixture of metals or it can be a mixture of metals and non metals non metals ko le bahut hai confused ho jaya sir kuntu rasile definitely non metal is steel steel is a mixture of iron nickel all these things but there is also a non metal and that is carbon okay carbon is there in steel and non metal carbon is a non metal okay fine so such kind of alloys are available one of the necessary condition for two metals to become alloys okay two metals becomes alloys can okay if their atomic radius if their atomic radius are in the reach are in the range of range mane and like uh, their size varies within 15 50% range of 15% okay 15% or without thank you like suppose one is 100 then on the other can be 115 or 90 or 85 till there their atomic size can vary so dui ta atom or alloy kete banao pariba when their atomic size varies by 15% theek hai examples are brass theek hai brass so brass is a combination of copper and zinc copper is atomic number 29 zinc is atomic number 30 so their atomic radius varies by 15% bronze is copper and tin sn mane tin this is tin this is zinc theek hai so they are also alloys so last part of one class will be enough so tomorrow i am planning to complete it so those who can do the class it's good enough and those who cannot do that is also well because lot of the portions are deleted uh, it will not take much time okay so you can see later also if you want lanthanoid series actinoid series jo abar asli ek also delete koi na lage so bahut force ko me hai sir for sure kar so tomorrow just one hour more and it will be over so if there is any confusion after that we'll definitely solve with the offline classes okay so thank you everyone we'll definitely do a full course revision with all the past day questions so thank you thank you